Hey everyone, this is Balloon45. I've been working on something these past few weeks with Lifco balloons. Since they're so, well, since they're tougher than American made balloons, I know one thing I believe they were made for indoors and out, like the uh, late Tilco brand. And I can show you one. I'm not pulling out. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Nope. Hmm. All right. I'll show you the other one instead. This one's been stretched out a little bit. As it is a second, sometimes we get some first rate. But this particular type of balloon, or brand of balloon, that I'm pulling up this green one, is history. I only have a few, only a few remains, and I got some of them. The only thing I can't work on, however, is, oh, when I said I was working on something with the Rifcos, making them neck out. And I think I'm on the right track. This one's a... This one is close to having a neck on it, as you can see, but not close enough. I can't do anything more with it because it's so stretched out at this time, but still kind of strong. Almost tight, but bouncy. Just a tad squishy. My hands don't sink into it. You only sink a few inches, an inch or so into it. Hmm. This is supposed to be a 48 inch. It's almost stretched to that of 60. Now I keep this up, it might make 60 inches, or it'll just simply explode. And it's a little tight as it is now. Any more air, it would be too tight. Hmm. Hmm. I know there are some people out there who like necks on their balloons. And now they've gotten some smaller ones. That'll do just that. The South American 24 inch was an, isn't really, uh, well, isn't really a 24 inch at all, but hey. That's good, really. Now, Top Balloon has come up with something of a 32-inch long neck. Well, the shame I can't get my hands on because I am totally strapped for cash. I'm lucky to have what I've collected over the years and months. This is one of them. I kind of hate selling off my collection. I really do. But, I have no choice. Because most of them, the ones I will not sell off are my rear balloons. Meaning the four and five foot q tex The, uh, hmm, what are those others? Okay. Uh, certain imprints that won't be seen much. Yeah. And even Tilly balloons. Mm-hmm. I have, I still have in my collection. They've been inflated quite a few times. One or two of them popped because they were OLD. Mainly the black one. Yeah, the black Tilly 60 inch. Couldn't be inflated anymore. So, well, that was it. Hmm. The rest of them are still good, however. Funny, really, how black balloons tend to deteriorate faster. I'll never figure that one out. Is uh, you can never figure out why. They, I mean, they wear down faster or degrade faster than their other balloons do. Like, transparent doesn't deteriorate. This color won't deteriorate too fast. Red, yeah, I don't know. Still working on that. Hmm. But this is a Tilco. Like I said, of the late. 
Philco brand, they were made, for, they stated they were made for outdoor use. The big 72 inches. They were thick. These, um, they're not thick, but they are strong. It's almost like uh, their formulation is totally different. Their latex formulation is different. And I'm not criticizing that, really. Hmm. I like a balloon that sticks around for a long time. Until it can't really take anymore. But I've seen some Rifco balloons get uh, suffer dry rot. Yeah. That was when I was back in LA. They didn't have the uh, deal for proper storage. They're always in a sh they were in a shed outside. Didn't keep them inside. As most of my belongings disappeared. Yeah. This uh here. Mm hmm Didn't like that in the least. Okay. So this is balloon four five. Enjoy your balloons to the fullest. You know I do. Hmm. <laughs> hmm.